this is a Google Nest Audio and this is a Google Nest Audio. And if you happen to be in possession of two of these or more of them, you can actually create a stereo pair. And I'm talking true stereo here with these two speakers. And it's completely wireless, completely synced up and really awesome. And we wanna show you how to do it. All right, so to get this started, you're going to need to get your phone out or technically you could use a Chromebook if you wanted to and launch into the Google Home app. And in that app, you need to make sure that you have put both of the speakers that you're looking to pair up in the same room. So it's not enough to just set them up. You need to make sure that you've created a room in your home or your office and that you've placed them both in that room in the app. And so as you can see on my screen, We've called these Zesty Nesty and Zesty Nesty 2. Um, I've got them in the same office room. So we've got pretty much all of our devices here in the office are all in the same room. But once they're in there, it's a very simple process to go about getting them stereo paired. So I'm gonna go into Zesty Nesty 1. And once you get into this screen, you're gonna click the settings. And then you're gonna scroll down until you see speaker pair. Now this is a specialized setup here. This is not like creating a speaker group. So you could go and create a speaker group if you want, but they're not gonna technically be stereo. They're just gonna be mono. So they'll play the exact same audio, synced up perfectly, and it works in most scenarios. But if you're looking for that true stereo pairing, this is the way you wanna go. So we're gonna hit next. And it's gonna see that Zesty Nesty 2 is also in the same room. And so now you can just select, it's auto selected it for me. I'm gonna hit next. And it's gonna play you a little sound and you can see it's asking in the app, pick the blinking speaker. And so the one that's blinking for us, you all looking at it technically is the right channel. So that's what I'm gonna tell it. I'll say that's the right channel, hit next. And I'm not gonna go through renaming it. We can call this whatever we want. It's set up as office pair gonna hit next and now it's pairing and we're gonna hear a really sweet sound here in just a second that is unique to this whole setup yeah that's pretty sweet sounding all right and just like that office pair is ready and it will show up now in uh, the list of your other speakers basically but you get your basic volume control just like you would with other grouped audio and then if you hit the equalizer button up there you actually get a bass treble and balance left and right in case you don't have them exactly centered in the room so that you can kind of balance that to your heart's content. Uh, and once you've got it done, you'll go down here, just right there with all your other devices now, you see office paired, it's just another speaker basically. And so unlike groups, the so speaker groups kind of appear in their own little section. This is gonna show up as like, almost like its own device, which is kind of cool. And I like that setting because again, it's just very simple to cast to, which is what we're gonna do now. All right, so now that that's done, let's give the whole setup a listen. If I go into my new office pair and I cast my audio, You'll hear that familiar sound, which means it's ready to go and it's gonna start playing whatever's on my phone. Now, I went through the Google Home app. You can go through YouTube Music or Spotify or whatever it is you listen to your music on as long as it's cast enabled and, and it'll these new speaker pairs will show up uh, just like any other speaker that's around you on your Wi-Fi network. But we're going this route because I'm playing a local file because you know YouTube and licensing and all that fun stuff. And so we're playing a track from Epidemic Sound, which is what we use to get our sound bed for all of our other videos, so shout out to them. They're really awesome. Uh, without any further ado, I'm gonna play that track. And immediately, you can't really pick it up here, we're recording in mono, but you can hear stereo separation just immediately. And I can tell you from practicing and messing around with these uh, before going into this video, just to kind of get a feel for how this is all gonna work, that this process for creating stereo separation with these speakers just really enhances uh, the Nest Audio's ability to play back high fidelity music. I mean, it goes from being a pretty good speaker by itself to being a really awesome stereo pair. And if you've got two of them or you found a, a, a deal for Christmas time or something that, that allowed you to get two of these things, I would highly, highly recommend you set up stereo pairing because it really does enhance the sound quality of the Nest Audio. But guys, that's it for this one. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, go down there and hit the subscribe button and make sure and hit the notification bell as well if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Until next time. We'll see you.